It's been a little minute since I did one of these. We're not gonna lie, it's gonna be fun. Uh, what's good with y'all boys, man? It's Fargo, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And today, I have something very special. Not special, just some basic shit. So, uh, a few months ago, I made a video about OSN. A popular YouTuber, scammer, whatever, in the black community. Whatever you want to call him. Scammer, abuser, whatever you want to call that nigga. You know, whatever fits for him. You know what I'm saying? Whatever fits for you. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, basically, he was scamming in July last year. I exposed him. He's been scamming, actually, a while. Like, for a good while. Dating back to, what, 2015, 2016? So, I mean, it's been some history about that but i finally exposed this nigga in uh july of last year he uh you know sent me some emails all types of other shit but we ain't gonna get into that shit we already talked about that months ago but a few months ago i made a video about him making this youtube course and shit like that whatever and i was going over the course and i believe that shit was a grift a scam whatever you want to call it i just feel like it was a way for him to make a quick buck off his audience and that nigga's not even doing nothing groundbreaking on YouTube right now. That nigga's getting like 35k in 21 hours with 1.8 million. Like, come on now. Like, you're taking YouTube advice from a fallen YouTuber? A YouTuber that fell off. You're taking YouTube advice from him. And I, I'm not gonna get into that though, but that's basically what the last video was. Now I'm here today because this video came up on my recommended. I bought a brand new Ferrari 488 by none other than Oprah Side or Oprah Scammer. And I'm like, wait, how this video come up on my recommended? Did somebody mention me in the comments or something like that? Are they talking about scamming or something? I did make a few videos on them, so maybe YouTube is just trying to throw it out to me, whatever. I'm not sub to the nigga, so don't, don't be thinking I'm on some fan activity, my nigga. I, his content is bare bones. I just can't watch that shit. I gotta watch something that's thought-provoking. And sitting here laughing at the screen and, and spitting out water, it's just, it just doesn't do it for me, bro. Like, it just doesn't, bro. I'm not 15 years old, 14, 13, however old your audience is. Now, many people may say, oh, Fargo, why are you pocket-watching? Oh, Fargo, why are you hating? I've never had any problem, nor have I hated on a nigga for making money legitimately. Now, if it's not legitimate, I'm going to talk my shit about it. I'm going to say something about it. So if y'all want to call that hating, I guess you want to call it hating. It is what it is. When people find out that you're a scummy person overall and you just like deceiving your whole audience, the people that put you on, the people that changed your life, I have zero tolerance. I don't give a fuck, bro. At that point, I'm saying anything about the nigga because I don't fuck with people like that, bro. Like, you literally sat here and deceived niggas that put you on. Like, just really think about that shit. Like, really think about that shit. And niggas think, yo, he bought merch. Uh, he supported. He was a big Oprahside fan. I'm just calling it how I see it. I am none of those. <laughs> like, I'm calling it how I see it, bro. I just don't like people like this on the internet. And the internet is running rampant with people like this. Of course, people are gonna say, oh, why don't you talk about the white people? The people that scam. I talked about Punch Made Dev. He's not black. So I beat those allegations. Let's let's just move on. <laughs> Alright, so I posted a picture of when I saw the um the shit on my recommended and shit. And I was like, damn, I know that ain't who I think it is, bro. Like, yo. This nigga is back to the bullshit. My nigga Unlucky Dreamer said he the black Logan Paul. Like, bro, this nigga really is the black Logan Paul. Like, this shit funny as shit. The only thing is, Logan Paul makes somewhat good content when he tries, bro. Like, that's the only thing. Like, he has somewhat of a draw, like, when it comes to people wanting to see him fail and shit like that. And at least he got wrestling skills, bro. Like, this nigga just don't be sitting behind the computer fake laughing and spitting out water and shit, bro. Like, don't try to act like what you did back then is gonna work now and niggas just gonna listen to you. On top of the scam and shit, bro. Like, it's a whole new game on youtube bro that's why you see your channel how it is right now because you got that fan base of course you know you keep your lawyers when you get to a million but like when it comes to like outside sources bro like i'm not gonna lie niggas is not fucking with you bro they going back to your old reactions like bro they're going back to your old shit to fuck with it bro like your new shit is not hitting and i see you gaining some weight bro it's good though like i'm not trying to i'm not trying to shame niggas you eating good off the scam money that's really good you got one life to live bro so why not drink it up you know what i'm saying eat it up you know what i'm saying hit that gym you feel me you get your get your body right i can't even lie bro because it's looking it's looking bad we kind of worried about you bro we kind of worried about you like we need you out here for when the feds come and sweep you bro we don't need you to be out of here you feel me like yo stay stay safe bro you know what i'm saying stay safe and it's cool if you don't worry about your health right now you know what i'm saying you don't want to get in that gym it's cool bro you gonna have plenty of time in that cell bro and that 23 and 1 you feel me when you get that yard time and shit like that it's cool don't worry about that right now just stick to what you're doing spend this scam money you know what i'm saying it's cool you good now let's read some of these comments from this video man this is this is gonna be interesting somebody says scamming finally paid off no nah, that's crazy by the way that's not me like come on let's not do that let's not do that that's not me that's not me <laughs> so he scammed his way into success 
Fairs. Hmm. I can smell JBM Fargo coming, bro. This is the first comment I saw that I clicked off, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I had to I had to wait for y'all so I could read these in front of y'all, bro. I can't even lie. Even though it's not really live. Come on now. I just had to you had to get my raw reaction. This is the, the comment that really got it, though. I can't even lie. You don't deserve it, Lamal dude. Where are the hoodies from your brand? Also, you literally ran a crypto scam. Oh, for all you wondering, I'm an OG fan. This is an OG fan saying this. By the way, this is not my burners. Do not think I'm commenting on this on my burners. How many burners you think I got? Like, really comment down below, for real, for real. If you really think I got, like, multiple burners and shit that I comment on pages and shit, like, really let me know in the comments. Like, that's funny as shit, though. Okay, this is just terrible English, but I just know what he's talking about. Niggas rug pulled his way into the Ferrari. Basically, that's what he said. All right, like, <laughs> that's funny as shit, though, but this spelling, bro, you gotta get that. I wouldn't be surprised you got one of all the niggas you scammed. <laughs> Bro, that's not even funny, bro. Like, that's not even funny, bro. I can't even lie. Wow, let's take a look at this NFT scammer. See, niggas have not forgotten, bro. They do not forget, bro. They do not forget. All that like minds and scam money paying off. Niggas said cap emoji, bro. Niggas think it's me. Like, bro, niggas think that I'm the one that's just hating on niggas, bro. His community is seeing this shit, bro. Like, they're not letting up on this nigga, bro. They're never letting up on this nigga. Niggas asked about the Rolls Royce. Where's the Rolls Royce? Somebody else asked about it, too. Like, he bought that with the money he scammed all his fans with the scamming your fans part of it has finally paid off this is just nothing new like they're all just saying the same thing and they think this this is just me saying this bro like they think i'm just a hater like his fans think i'm a hater bro like bro if you know real you see real and you say real you feel me like come on now fuck your car what happened to the like minds bro let's talk about the like minds man like i ain't gonna lie we gotta talk about that bro we have to talk about that let's talk about the clothes because just, just forget about the nft shit because if you buy nfts in 2023 bro i don't know what to tell you bro like i really don't know what to tell you like you're literally asking to get scammed you see what happened with the niggas with logan paul bro like literally like like you're asking to get scammed but at the same time you're a piece of shit OSN for, for literally taking the money that people like put into that project thinking that you were gonna help endangered species and you took that money and ran and, and bought a Rolls Royce then bought a Ferrari with the rest of the money like yo, it's been almost two years since the last clothing drop bro like why haven't you sent niggas their clothes like I'm still seeing niggas that have not got their clothes bro like honestly if I make a tweet right now I'm like yo who haven't got their clothes if I made an Instagram post yo who haven't got their clothes from like mines I promise you It'd be hundreds, almost thousands of people that will literally respond. Not at that moment, because you think I got some big ass fan base? Like, no, I don't. But at the same time, if I were to make a poll, like, yo, did you get your clothes from like mines? Did you get your clothes from the scam or whatever? Or the nigga that scammed y'all? Like, they're gonna say no. <laughs> like, because in your video, when you said you wasn't a scam, you said, oh, it's only a little bit of people. You know, it's not really a lot of people. And you didn't even make an effort to refund niggas, bro. Like, I can understand if you just can't send them the clothes and shit like that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That time has passed or whatever. But you didn't even make a post at all to send niggas their money back. I talked to hundreds of people, bro, that said they have not got their shit, bro. They had to get a refund from the bank, not you. It's funny how he completely stopped talking about his brand when I exposed that nigga. Like, that shit is crazy bro like after i exposed the nigga the brand just was not nothing to be thought of to be heard to be said nothing bro like that brand is just nothing to the nigga bro like and you can see in the comments niggas talking about yo we really thought this was gonna be the next big thing bro and you just turned out the scam niggas like that's tough he hasn't talked about the brand because a he has to face the music and he's scared people are gonna cook him in the comments or wherever he posts some shit at they're gonna cook that nigga bro like for sure it's over you feel what i'm saying and he doesn't want to face that right now and b the support it's not gonna be a lot of support bro like it's gonna be mostly meat riders you know probably a few people but if it's not a reputable brand and people aren't getting their clothes aren't getting refunds you think people are actually gonna like invest and you know buy stuff with their hard-earned money when other people put their hard-earned money in there and got scammed like what bro like come on now like you could talk about all the other drops oh you know i got my clothes but it's people that still ain't get they shit at all and you did nothing about it to this day it's been almost two years at this point everybody that got scammed nft whatever if you have not gotten a refund from your bank, I do not know what to tell you, bro. Like, I've, I've tried my best, you know what I'm saying, to spread the word and shit like that, get the word out there. It is what it is, bro. You feel me? At this point, the nigga don't care. He gonna keep doing what he do. And, you know what I'm saying? I got his community to turn against him. And it wasn't even on purpose. It was just by spinning straight facts. Um, Make sure y'all check out my second channel, too. I'm about to, like, really be on that shit, on some commentary shit. Probably vids like these. I'm gonna keep the consistency up, too, bro. I've been streaming and shit like that. I just came back and shit. Uh, I told a nice-ass story. So make sure y'all check out that channel. 
that shit Wargo. Um, I'll put that in the comments. I'll put that in the description, too. Appreciate you all for rocking with me, bro. It's Fargo, and I'm out, man.